monthly checks, and the impact to Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB. I have all the details and everything you need to know right here in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so this is a very important topic that we need to understand, especially with all of the increased talk lately about monthly checks, ongoing payments, and increased money going out to the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. Now, I do want to talk through all the details in this video simply because I do understand that a lot of you right here in this community are receiving some type of monthly benefit, whether it's Social Security Retirement, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, or any other types of monthly benefits or even low income, no income, seniors, elderly, older adults, people with disabilities. This is something that we need to understand very, very closely because with these ongoing payments and all of this talk that is out there right now, we need to understand what is this going to do to our monthly benefit? Is it going to impact our monthly benefit? Because ultimately at the end of the day, that is the most important thing that goes on right now is the monthly benefit that arrives in your mailbox, in your bank account, or onto your direct express card every single month. So I know that this is very important and I do know that some of you in this community have been concerned reaching out to me wondering, is this going to impact my benefit? What is this going to do to my benefit? So I wanna lay that all out for you right here in this video. So let's get right into it. But really fast before we do, if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. I am your one and only daily advocate. I'm literally doing research all day, every single day, breaking it all down into these short videos so that you can stay updated with all the latest details as they are hitting the wire. It's a busy time out there. Things are changing very rapidly. There are packages, proposals, amendments, announcements, so many different things that are hitting the tape every single day. I want to make sure that you know what's going on and Anytime that something comes up that you can take advantage of, of course, I want to be right here for you, breaking it all down and letting you know what you need to do to take advantage of it. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get right into this. All right, so this is something very important that we need to understand going forward with especially all of these different programs that are popping up all around the country right now. And of course, there's even talk to send out monthly ongoing checks with no strings attached on an ongoing basis basis on a nationwide level. However, the big question out there is, what is this going to do to my monthly benefits? So let's jump into this and talk about what is going on. All right. So especially with all of these universal basic income or guaranteed basic income programs that are going on around the country right now. And of course, with the increased talk about these programs coming out on a nationwide level, in other words, being distributed by the federal government rather than just on the state by state level. What is this actually going to do to your monthly benefit? Is it going to replace your monthly benefit? Is it going to bump up your income so much as a fixed income beneficiary of all those benefits I mentioned earlier that it'll potentially stop your monthly benefits? Yeah, these are some big questions that we need to answer right here. So let's jump into this. All right, so first off, I wanna lay this much out there. Just like the stimulus checks that we've received here over the last two years, the $1,200 from back in early 2020, the $600 from late 2020, and the uh, $1,000 dollars from early 2021. All of these payments were advancements on a refundable tax credit. In other words, basically just a fancy way of saying money that the IRS was going to give you anyway in the event that you filed the tax return, but rather than making you wait for it, they sent it out to you as an advance. So regardless of what your income would be, provided it was uh, below the income thresholds, you would still get that advance. In other words, a tax credit coming back to everybody, provided your income was below the limits that they set. So that's basically what it, uh, these other programs are as well. So all of these guaranteed basic income programs that are out there right now, as well as the universal basic income programs across many different states, cities, localities, counties, all different places around the entire country right now, that's exactly what they are as well. They're essentially just a no strings attached payment that goes out on a monthly basis that you can spend on whatever you want. And just like the stimulus checks that we've received here over the last couple of years, it's not counted as income, it's not counted as resources, and it's not counted as taxable income simply because it goes out to those people who are lower income and it acts as the same way as the stimulus checks that we've received over the last couple of years. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, the stimulus checks were by far the best of all the worlds. Just for those reasons I just laid out, 
they're not counted as income, they're not taxable, and they do not um, count, they're not counted as resources. Therefore, it has no impact to your monthly benefit. Same thing with all of these other universal basic income or guaranteed basic income programs that are out there right now all across the country. Amazing, seriously, these are like the best types of programs they could ever possibly introduce because it basically has no impact, right? Now, let me lay this out for you as well because some of you have reached out and asked, okay, in the event that one of these programs pops up in my local area, or if they do actually implement one of these on a nationwide level and the lower income people start getting ongoing monthly checks, can I still get this in conjunction with my monthly benefit? Can I get my social security alongside a monthly check? Can I get my SSDI alongside a monthly check? Can I get my SSI or VA benefits alongside in addition to my monthly benefit um, or in addition to these monthly checks? The answer to that would be, yeah, absolutely you can. That's why it's so cool, right? Let me give you one quick example. And again, I know sometimes down in the comment section, I get some pushback anytime I talk about this topic, but let me give you this example. This is just being uh, introduced as an example, but it is a real thing that we all experienced not that long ago. And I wanna give you, because it is a real life practical example that we can all reference and say, oh yeah, I guess you're, you're right. This is exactly what we witnessed not that long ago. It is the child tax credit payments from last year. Now I get it. Not everybody got those payments. Between about 36 and 38 million households received the payments. However, let me lay it out for you. Let me give you this example. Somebody receiving SSI, Supplemental Security Income, even if you were receiving the maximum of $841, or let me take that back, I guess last year it was $794 was the maximum last year. So to be fair, let's correct that and say, even if you were receiving the maximum last year from SSI, $794 last year in 2021, you could have received the ongoing child tax credit advancement payments last year, every single month, starting in July through December of last year. And guess what? It had no impact to your SSI benefit. Yeah, amazing, right? So for those people receiving SSI last year, if they had maybe two or three kids, they could have had an ongoing advance payment for the child tax credit payment more, even way more than what their SSI check was every single month. And it had zero impact to their SSI. It was not counted as income. It did not impact SSI or SNAP benefits or anything like that. And it was not taxable. Amazing, right? I mean, absolutely amazing. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So this is a real life example that we can all reference and say, oh, you know, I guess it's a real thing. Yeah, absolutely, it's a real thing. It's a real thing that about 36 to 38 million households experienced last year for six months, July through uh, December of last year, all those millions and millions of families and households received this. So it is a real thing that happened last year and um, at this point, a lot of people are missing that because, you know, how nice would that be, right? An ongoing monthly check every single month that literally has no impact to anything else, just extra money ongoing. I don't know. Sounds pretty nice to me. <laughs> Sign me up, right? Yeah, exactly which is exactly why these programs continue to pop up all around the country. Now, again, as I mentioned, these are popping up all around the country. They're all over the place. Many different states out there have these different programs. And again, there is talk out there right now about implementing this on a nationwide level. So as we do get any of these types of programs, or if one pops, uh, sorry, pops up in your local area and you can start taking advantage of it, by all means, you might wanna get on it and it would have no impact to your monthly benefit. Now, again, I just have to throw this out there. Full disclaimer, I do not know everybody's situation. Everybody's situation is very, very different. Therefore, I cannot give a blanket statement and say, of course, your exact situation, it'll be totally fine. Everybody's situation is different. However, in general terms, for the most part, you're pretty much good to go, right? Just like the stimulus checks, it has no impact negatively on any type of benefit that you're receiving. So that's why the stimulus checks were so powerful, right? You got the money, it didn't garnish your benefit, it didn't impact your social security, it didn't do anything to your SSI or SSDI, it didn't touch your SNAP benefits, it didn't do anything to your utility assistance or housing assistance, it literally did nothing negatively other than literally put some extra money into your pocket that you could spend on anything that you desired when those checks came out, right? You could have saved it, you could have spent it, you could have cashed it out, you, you could have done anything, it did not matter. You could have done anything with the stimulus checks. So 
Anyway, hope that answers your questions. Again, the impact to monthly benefits would be virtually nothing virtually zero. So if any of these programs pop up in your area, by all means, you probably want to get on it. Which by the way, right now in Chicago, there are applications still open for the $500 per month for about 5,000 people. So again, $6,000 on the table over the course of the entire year. You may want to jump on that if you're in the Chicago area. Check it out. Which, by the way, quick side note, if you want to check out that website, it is chicago.gov slash cash pilot. Again, chicago.gov slash cash pilot if you're in the Chicago area. Anyway, that's just one more example of a program that's out there right now that is uh, currently working on sending out those monthly benefits, $500 per person for 5,000 people for the next year, 12 months. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. Hope it uh, helps to answer some questions with things that are going on right now. Again, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,400 plus videos right here on the channel. Thanks again. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the next